Ashley. Yes, yes. Uh, how are you doing, sir? It's, it's Jim that uh, pestered you on Facebook for an interview. How are you doing? Not doing too bad. Is it uh, com convenient to speak with you now? Yeah, alright. Oh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I tell you, I remember, I remember the some of the fights. I never even knew as well. I just refreshed my memory because I'm from York and you actually fought here, Barbican. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know that a European title fight in, in my city. I didn't even know. I think it was just out of Henry. Yeah, was it? Was it? Was Henry on that card? Yeah, because me and Henry was supposed to fight after that. Right. All oh, right. What and what happened? What did did he get cold feet or what? He retired. Ah, oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, I remember now. Yeah, but, yeah, because he wasn't really a light heavyweight, was he? Pardon? He wasn't really a light heavyweight, really, was he, Henry? I guess that was. He was best as he was at his best as a. When he fought Ben and Eubank and all them, I guess, when he uh, down at, was it super middle? Super middle, yeah. 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 It's difficult when you're trying to keep a maintain just as it is coming up is hard. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's trying to stay super middle where weakens you, drains you, and then coming up into that next one. It works just, it takes a while. Right. Did, did you and Henry ever spar? No. 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 no that would have been interesting. Two, two tough guys. I'll tell you what, I think he Oh, uh, uh, why not? I think, so. I think no. people would disagree. People, people get it wrong. Boxing is not about game here, it's about not game. Yeah. And that's, that's the one thing I was taught. If you do it, you're doing something wrong. Move. Right. Right. If you're watching all the fights, I'm always <laughs> Yeah. I mean, the, th the thing about you, uh, Crawford, I mean, it, 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 it's fair to say you, you, you never had anything given to you. It, it was tough fights from the start. It was tough fights at the end of your career. Uh, there was no gimmies, as they say, was there for you? It was, it was I mean, Johnny Nelson in, in what year? Eight fight and then Carl Thompson in your 14 fight. I mean, that doesn't happen now, bit really, does it? You know, some I about the end of the way. Yeah. That's what made you what you are. Right, well, it's like I want to test myself against the best. And it's like, where do I fit in in this game? Mm. I'm doing it. I'm starting off. When I turn pro, I said I'm going to give myself three years to learn to trade. Right. And that's when I was with Tommy Miller and Peter Coleman. Right. Um, I took fights at very short noise. Yeah. John, I didn't want to know I was fighting John Miller from the way. Really? And I am working fully closed and I can't, can't remember when he was stripped off and I think I was giving him about six or seven pounds. Yeah. But it's only a valuable lesson, man. You know, I mean, I got a fancy. But I have already fancy. Did Did you think at the time? I know it's a, it's a long time ago now that fight. But did you think at the time, oh, this guy's going to go on to do some stuff? You know, he's going to because obviously it took Johnny Nelson a long time, didn't it, before he actually got like because he. Oh, I, I think um, you get a decision. Over me, mm. I think give him a bit of uh, confidence, a little bit more confidence. Yeah. And I find that with quite a few of the fighters doing it. The only, I did a, a little thing, I lost 10 fights. One of them benched, so that was nine. Mm. Three of the world champions. And, yeah. Two went on to become world champions. And the other two were banners. Yeah. And I made a mistake and got caught. So I don't think he's that bad, actually. Oh, uh, not all. Your resume, yeah. everyone talks about resumes these days. Everything, you know, you, as you know, everything's on, everything's on computers, all box wreck. You can, you know, back in the day, you had to read boxing newspaper, didn't you? And that was it. But, yeah, you, you say there about the losses, but and, and not only that, that you were robbed as well. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm going to come to that later, but you, I mean, how many times do you think you were robbed? Maybe at least twice? Well, this is all I want to say, right? Because, you know, I think this covers it all. Uh, everybody I've ever boxed, if everything was right, mm. I'd have stopped them all except for one. 
And who was it? I'm not going on the ring with them. I know it. Wild crap. No one's come on before. Mm. So I know that. But then, you know, I'm a trainer for Padgett. Um, I don't, I'll have to, no, I need to. Uh, they're not, they're looking to him because he's yeah. tied off Frank Wallen. Right. He's, he's put a license fight for Frank and then turned him over into the thing. Ah, right. And it was Frank who introduced me to Bob. Right. And Bob said to me, my story is not about who I saw, it's about who wouldn't fight you. Ah. So it's like, how can you become a great, these so-called great fighters don't want to fight you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's impossible. So who who would you say was the one you wouldn't have stopped? Uh, who I remember being, none. None? Yeah, I really wanted to have another go with him. Yeah. He was good. Yeah. And I'm on about really good. Did you, were you, uh, just getting off subject a little bit, did, were you shocked when he went to jail for like 26 years? I mean, it was like a stitch up really, wasn't it? The, it was like a sting up. This is what they do. Yeah. This is the issue of part of our life. It's what they do to us. Yeah. I mean, that fight, that, that was the first time, that was the first fight of yours I, I watched, like, you know, because it was on tele. It was big, wasn't it? It was huge. Um, so I got a and it took it for you to notice. I know, and it, but, but did you, you had to drop down, didn't you, to, to super middle? Yeah. With the first stroke, anyway. Yeah. We didn't have a gym to train in, and there were no scales in the gym that we did finally got. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, so this. Yeah. So it was a thing about them, but I'm going on there with the best fight in the world, man. I remember the I remember the interview with Nun uh, mm. after, and he was like full of praise for you. Did, did you see that? What he was saying after? Because he talks right fast, doesn't he? Very right fast, you can't catch up with what he's saying. Blah, 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 blah. And he's saying, that fella thought that fella was tough. That, fella, if that guy got trained and all this. If he, if he had the, if he had this and that, you know, he, he, and he couldn't, he couldn't stop praising you. That's what I remember. And Don King was there. Was he promoting him then? Uh, the people thought, people, this is what really annoys me about the boxing today. Mm. Is that to get respect, it has to be earned. Yeah. And nobody wants to win a fight with a work or just go lie down. Why? Mm. You know what I mean? I've trained this hard. You ain't gonna beat me in there, and if you're gonna beat me, you're gonna get the best. And as a fighter, we don't respect that. Mm. You know what I mean? The man's coming out to give me a fight. Yeah. You know, look at that that win for him. It's better than if I just lay it down. Mm. I mean, yeah, going into that fight, is it true that you had a uh, cracked rib or like, <laughs> or two even? I got reminded of that. Yeah. Yeah, because I've got, and that's one of the things with my, well, I've got a short neck. You know what I mean? I mm. just forget things. Well, you had that, you, I mean, you, you, I mean, it must be hard to keep track. I mean, you, you fought that many, I mean, how many, how many champions did you, like you say, you listed them there, that, all of them, and, uh, but yeah, because he stopped you. He went to body, didn't he, later? Do you think he knew you had a damaged rib? Do you think they got wind of it or something? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, Andy Lord on the beat isn't a good trainer. He's not. Because I, I listen to some of the... Some of the nobody comes back to the corner. Yeah. He goes to the... No, why did he get rid of this bug? And I'm thinking, yeah, but... I didn't give him some tips on how to do that. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Yeah. That I didn't expect that. I, I wouldn't have yeah, thought that. Of any... uh, no, because the fire was a bump. That's, well, that's the thing. The fire was a bump. Well, none never said that after, did he? No, 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 certainly no. never said that yeah, after. Before. Right, yeah. right. Before the fight, none and all that lot playing all them mind games. I'm not interested. No. Nah. You know, we're fighting on Friday night, so who gives a shit? Yeah. You know, that, that's, yeah. my, that's my whole attitude. Yeah. You can go on as much as you want, but when we're in there, there's only one person who's going to stop it, not the else who's going to do it. Yeah. Know, so you can go on and give me all that, and I would just relax. I would just chill down and then basically take it. <laughs> and then, 
Yeah, because I'm a buy you. you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, even at the press conference, I could come get me to buy you. And um, Angelo Dundee said, I want a real cut in. Yeah, I remember that. Because that was in so Boxing the, Monthly. Yeah, the reply was just brilliant. I just stood up and I said, the only thing I think is about you is just the yeah. haircut. Yeah. You know, five. Yeah. And sat back down. That, that was his answer to that. So, yeah. But, no one really now, we can't do things. And I think that tweet came out of this. Mm. But after the month, after I boxed him, it was a completely different character. Man. Yeah, that's what I remember. Yeah. Proper, proper genuine. Yeah. So was 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 Dundee serious then about uh, getting you, cutting your dreadlocks? I don't care. I wonder if it was just mind games again, like you said. Like, okay. try. The man's Jewish. Yeah. So when I was about to throw prize to the Israel and all that lot. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. He's got a bit of a problem with us. Mm. But, I mean, you know, that that was a... You went on a hell of a roll at that time because in terms of being matched because, am I, am I right, didn't you fight Michael Nunn, then was it... Then I think it was Dennis Andres, then it was another tough guy, then, then it was Virgil Hill... God, talk about that. I mean, nowadays they do that. Yeah, what one judge had it close, didn't they? No, the thing is, is it was I was in the dressing room before the before I come out. Mm. And the guy says to me, "Get out in five minutes, right? Be ready to go. All right, You're ready to go. You're up in the dressing room. I'm just going to fight off. We won't be long." Stay there, it was on. It went in 12 rounds. Oh, Christ. And so, I just thought, and this guy's supposed to be looking good. No man have to do this to me. Yeah, but, playing tricks. Yeah, and I just, but what I don't like is the fact that it's the only people who suffer the public. Because the because it's about some great fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've, I've, the, public, the public don't like it. I've never understood that as a as a fight as a boxing fan. I've never understood. I, I can understand trying to get a little bit of one upmanship to a degree, but like you say, why don't they want to just fight you at your best? Why mess you around? So you've got to wait for nearly another hour. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I just want. I went to sleep. I just want to be interested. So you weren't fired up, obviously, because you yeah. Imagine that you. You charged up, ready to go in five minutes, and you've got to wait another hour. It's just it's disgraceful, really. That I, I don't really want to criticise the, uh, any fighter, but Virgil Hill, I don't know what it was about him. I never thought he was—he was obviously slick and he could move and all that. I mean, yeah, he used to move. Yeah, he moved and he was one of them. But like I said, I just couldn't be bothered. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered with it. I'm bring I'm bringing. I really think, I really think that fight should have been a draw. Yeah. I didn't deserve to take the title, but I didn't deserve the loss. Right. Yeah, that's an honest way. To, yeah, yeah. To look at it that way. I mean, I'm bringing up your bad nights here now. Uh, no, but I again, Rocky Rocky Gianni. That was so another. That was that, that, that was no bad. But you got robbed. <laughs> No, no, that doesn't make a... From being at school boys, I was told... Well, like I said, I was quite... Not quite. They were very lucky with the people who taught me. Mm. When I was a kid. And it basically said, it's all down to opinion. There's three people at ringside. Yeah. have got four rounds to get rid of it. Take out their round. No matter who thinks you want, if they three think you've lost, You've got to accept it. Right. And I accepted it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's only three people's opinion. W- were they German referees? I should actually do my research, but were they all German uh, ju- judges? Sorry. Actually, the um, referee, Franz Mai, right. he was the one who was complaining to the EDU. So the I remember reading that. He said that to you, didn't he? Well, a couple of things, you know, a couple of fights later, I think he's meant something like that. Ah, that came over and talked to me. Right. But, yeah. no, it was, um, you got to 
remember I took that six days notice. Mm. The first third round, I brought my hand in the third round. Um, it taught me a lot about me. Mm. Yeah, but when you get a split decision against you in Germany, you can, you can, you know, people pretty much say, hang on, that smells fishy. I can chalk that up to a, to a win for you. You know what I mean? That's the way it goes. And Italy used to be the same, didn't it? I know you fought there. You fought there as well. Yeah. Was that a bad decision? Was it your Davies? Yeah. Was that another bad decision? I mean, I'd, I know you don't like to complain about it, but. Because yeah. I know that in them fights, you never beat me, it's not the decision, you just been beat me. Yeah. You know, and it's like, that's what I can say with a lot of fights, it's like when you look at your Kawasaki's record. Yeah. He didn't beat you a lot, he didn't beat some fighters, but he got the decision of it. Mm. Robin Hood was one, he didn't beat you, he got the decision. Yeah, that was it. That's how you got all the basically for it. Yeah. Do, do you think, do you think then, because people say that nowadays, a lot of people say there's too much made about perfect, like like Mayweather, for example, 50 and 0. Do you think people make too much about unbeaten records? It looks so great on on page, but like you say, did they really win all them fights? Do you think people make too much about an unbeaten record? Yeah. Picking yeah. Rules. Yeah. The picking the rules, who are they going to fight? Who are they going to think? And then they wonder why most of them don't have uh, people don't respect them. Mm. Because uh, what, someone being record of you for? You know, I think male is a different kind of fish. Mm. But there's been a couple of fights which he didn't really. It could have been a draw. Yeah. It been a draw. He yeah. didn't win the fight, but he did. I don't think he'd lost it. Yeah. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, the thing, especially in title fight. Yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah, that Mexican guy probably beat him. Castillo probably beat him, but everyone. But, um, but yeah, when you when someone looks at your record, they don't understand it. I mean, 10 defeats, but like you say, how many of them were, were legit? Not, not, certainly not half of them, probably. Uh, like I say, don't, don't bother me, never did. Even from being a kid, he never did. Can I ask you, I've got to ask you about this, because I, I tell you what, no, no disrespect to you, because I'm a big fan of, of yourself, but my favourite British fighter is uh, is Dennis Andrews. I just, for some reason, just love that guy. And I know you put him down, and no, not many people did that, but how tough was Dennis? Because uh, that was another... Were you both coming towards... I'll tell you about my attack. <laughs> oh, that... Oh, that's the last thing you need before going in with him. My triggers are like blind spots. So I can look and then be a big hole here. Big black hole spots. Oh, wow. And, uh... Do you not want to pull out? I guess you couldn't, could you? uh, I don't think you'd try that. No, (laughs) no. Sorry, dumb question. Sorry. No, I'm not Yeah. So I do like somebody said to me, and asked her, the mum's like, why didn't you stay down? I said, well, if I stayed down, you know I wouldn't have been speaking to me. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I mean, no, I just think it's, like I said, I'm, I'm different to a lot of people. Mm. You know, it's, I'm kind of odd. <laughs> but I like the odd, oddness. Eccentric. <laughs> So, so, like I said, what I did was I love boxing. Yeah. And and the thing about you as well, obviously, you, you've been told that, you, well, you know anyway, you don't need, that you were always in shape, weren't you? You was never like... No. 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 I wasn't always in shape. But you always made weight, though. I always made, because um, when I had the um, first title fight, I was walking round at about 12.7, mm. and I came in for that one around 12.4, 12.5. All right. I was in the summer's going to the way, and the fights were the same day. Uh, what? So, oh, yeah, so. It was, as I got older, it became more difficult to make work. 
Mm. So, um, when people ask you, because you thought a who's who of, you know, all those light heavyweights and, you know, who was the best you thought? Can, I, can you say one? It's hard, really. No, it's one. Like the circuit. It's, it's, it's the yeah. Performance. Definitely none, yeah. Yeah. yeah but like everybody else, I'm my neighbor spot. Right. And also, what was it? Talk of you getting a fight with Hearns a, a couple of times. Three times. Yeah. Did he? Did he? Is that because I mean, because he fought in UK, didn't he, on a on a NAS uh, card? I don't know. I, I think know. was it around then, late nine. When was it supposed to be? Nineties. I don't know. So like I said, time scales. Yeah. So. And he 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 kept pulling out, did he? Three times he pulled out. Oh man, you the didn't. Last time I went over to Detroit to, to a bloody press, press conference. Because you. Just, nah, I was just bollocks. You could have beat a legend there, couldn't you? No, would have been. Yeah. Would have been. No problem. Yeah. I mean, he was he was past his I best mean, then, probably, right, I guess. Past his best then, but that's good. Uh, no, I was just scared. When I looked in his eyes, he was dead. Really? Yeah, man. He was a shell of a man. Yeah, he fought a lot of wars, didn't he? Yeah, because yeah, you're six three, aren't you? I think he's right. about he's about six. six yeah, six. Yeah, he was tall for well to it, but yeah. yeah, not so. Isn't it weird how things work out or don't work out? Because you know he ended he ended up fighting when he was like forty seven. I think he, he, he came. He did a comeback or something. But yeah, that'd have been it. Yeah. it Mm. It'd, it'd look good on your record, though, I guess. Obviously. Nah, the thing is, I'm not going to tell you what the thing was because he was an old man. Mm. You know what I mean? It was a legend. It'd be nice to share the end of his career for it. But I wouldn't have wanted to take credit. Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, no, I see what you're saying, yeah. I see what you're saying. So when you look back then, Crawford, do, do you have any regrets in your career? No, it's like I was thinking about it before. Everybody I fought is because, you know, I mean, I wanted to fight them. You're the one who can find me. And mm. I can't make people find me if they don't want to find me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So <laughs> I, fought, I fought the best in my era. Oh, no doubt. No doubt about that. And a, and a lot of it on the road as well. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, you didn't get anything at home, did you? All of them. It's like that. I'm, I'm glad. Because, like I say, it's like I know I knew where I stood. Mm. After that nun fight, we had a press conference afterwards and there was about four or five year old champions on the table. Mm. Terry Norris. Oh, Terry yeah. Norris as well. And a couple of others. And when I came on stage, you know, the all stood up and did a standing ovation. Oh, wow. Now I know I'm a boxer. Yeah. That's allowed to stand with the elite. Yeah. And I'm only oh. short. That's... And it was no doubt the crowd, because I was always taught that Americans only love winners. The man who looked that was shown to me after that fight was amazing. Yeah. I couldn't even believe it. Yeah, uh, that's cool. And I thought I lost. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's the, the heart you showed, they, they kind of, they've got to appreciate it. I mean, it was the, you know, the desire and heart you showed, it, it, it won them over. Didn't you win the fans over in Germany as well? Didn't they boo yeah, yeah. their own guy? Yeah, but this is what I try and tell boxers. You cannot be the underdog. You cannot be a world fighter. Mm. You go in there and give your best. If you win, they'll cheer you. Mm. The world, I mean, the world slag you off. If you win the journey, if you lose, you're being entertained. Mm. You know what I mean? Working in, that was one thing about that guy, Johnny Rogers. I assured you something. I can change people. Mm. I worked in there to an atmosphere which was very, very hostile. Yeah. To say the least. 
Yeah. I came with some deals that is in, in the worst atmosphere he's ever walked in. Mm. And that coming out was completely different. The atmosphere had changed. Right. From hate to love. Yeah, you won them over, yeah. That, that's, that's, yeah. That says something, doesn't it? That really does say something. Because their own, like, hero yeah. guy, you know, and, and yeah. Um, just got to talk a little bit about Clinton, the Clinton Woods fight, because I mean, I spoke with Clinton. And Clinton's a great guy as well, isn't he? And uh, he said that when he fought you, you hit him with a shot in the first round, and, and he's <laughs> he felt a crunch in his nose, and he said to himself in his mind, "Oh, I'm out, of my, I'm out of my depth here. I'm out of my depth." And he somehow sucked it up and managed to come back and, and get the win. I mean. He says no one hit him. As a, I mean, he fought uh, Roy Jones. Uh, he fought um, what's the other guy, Glenn Johnson, yeah. and he said no one hit him harder than you. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, he actually said he's, he felt his nose go crunch, and he and he thought I'm out of my depth for you. Yeah. And it was that, that was that for European title. Oh, for, oh, yeah, Commonwealth, yeah, yeah. Ah, man, I mean, like you say, it's a who's who when you look at your record. Yeah, it's like some of the first thing why did it defend on the island? You could have just like, defended one or twice if you thought it deserved them all. Yeah, there's not many people like you with that type of attitude, is there now? It seems it seems like the sport's the changed. The thing is, is that I'm a fighter. We want to know how we're the best there is. With the best of us, then we should be no doubt that there. We should be fighting, but we should take on all challenges. Yeah. I don't know. I just wish everybody, I wish they all had that, that same attitude. Don't you think? I think some of them do. I think it's yeah. more of the managers who go back. And... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, who, do you, who do you like watching today? Who do you think now you, that you like watching on world stage today? Who do you like? Do you like Canelo or people like that? No, I don't like Canelo. No, Sorry. no. Um, I like this. Oh yeah, he's good. Um, oh man. Why don't you like Canelo? I don't like Canelo because I just don't rate him. Mm, you, th- you think you think he's he's, a, he's like he cherry picks and he and he uh, I don't know he's juicing. Yeah. They no, say. Look, look, look at how he does it. Canelo's gonna fight. As far as I. Opponents out there, but we're going to make a decision shortly. Mm. And then we'll make a decision out of the five. So, what the five been doing while he's been training for one of them? Mm. You already know he's going to fight. Mm. We'll be three hours there to see the five. So yeah. Okay, so that was that was that was that was no, not. It's what it finds. Champions will get it. Mm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. But people will say, "Well, he's a superstar. He's, a, he's got the right to pick, and you know and that's what they say." But yeah, I know. The thing is, the guy's been caught as a drug chief. Yeah. And to me, that's somebody who doesn't believe in themselves. Yeah. And they have got that confidence to go on there. And I think anybody who goes into a ring <laughs> and they're on the juice and they're not taking it. Mm. I don't mind if you're going to take it, take it. But well, admit to it. Yeah. And then give the opponent the opportunity to either take it or not. Because I knew where John was on juice so and I took a fight. No problem. Because like I said, boxing is about not getting it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, something's got to be done about this because every, every, as you know, every month or so, someone, big name gets busted for taking this or that. And yeah, but uh, if you get caught with it, it's a lifetime. Yeah. It's system. I don't care how it's got there. It's there. Yeah. Do you do Whatever. Yeah. Simple. Fighters shouldn't need to cheat to prove they're the best. That's exactly what you're saying, isn't it? They, do, they shouldn't. But they have to do that because there's um, this thing called money and there's other people who <laughs> back it and who want it. Mm. Oh, this lot. So, no, 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 she would just do this and give this to me because we want him to be a champion. Mm. No, it's all about because it's like the most losing is kind 
Yeah. It it has changed, hasn't it? Even in the last say twenty years it's it has changed the sport. The sport has changed. I mean I can remember. Because everything's champions. Yeah, and, and everything's pay per view, isn't it now as you you know, don't you think? But Too many. It's like I said, they're taking it from again from the people because that's what it was. When, you know, back in the day. Yeah. My day, you could go one pound fifty, you could go watch a show. Well, I tell you, yeah, we, we had a bag. We had it so we were so lucky. We had a bag and getting fights, great fights you put on, great fights that Clinton Woods put on, great fights that. Uh, Kyle Thompson and didn't cost you know to watch on telly didn't cost any anything and now it's just like every the AJ fight twenty seven ninety nine twenty seven pounds or something. Don't watch it. No, can't can you can't afford it. I tell you, when he first died, it was Mike Tyson. Yeah. Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Tyson. Yeah. 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 Yeah.